David saw there in the Gospels The Magdalene girl comes to pay her respects But her mind is a whirl when she finds the tomb empty The stone had been rolled, not a sign of a corpse In the dark and the cold So I was born 66 years ago in uh, a little town on the northeast coast of England. The town was called Wall's End. Uh, it was famous for building ships. And if I look down towards the end of my street growing up, more often than not, the street would be blocked by a gigantic ship. A friend of my father's left the town. He left a guitar in our house. I must have been seven at the time. And I immediately fell on it like a, a man dying of thirst in the desert. So I had this dream. I dreamt I would become a musician. I dreamt I would be a writer of songs, that I'd sing those songs all over the world. I never imagined I'd get an honorary degree from Brown. That would have been... <laughs> that would have been beyond the realms of even my fantasy. These dead man's boots look the way down the hill They can walk to themselves and they probably will They won't walk with me cause I'm off the other way I've had it up to here, I'm gonna have my say When all you got left is that cross on the wall I want nothing from you, I want nothing at all I'm done with all the arguments, there'll be no more disputes My success eventually came um, in the late 70s, early 80s say which coincided with the, the demise of the shipyard, which was the sole uh, source of employment in my town. The e economic equations that informed policy left out a very important factor. Because what defined that town was the work it did, its pride in itself, its dignity, the dignity of work. And when that was taken away, I, I realized how important it is for human beings to, to be appreciated in society. So I started to write songs about my town. And in doing so, it was almost as if uh, I had unlocked something inside me that had been uh, trapped for a long time. Um, the first thing I did was I wrote a list of people I'd known who worked in the shipyard. And uh, from those names, I figured out I was telling the story of what they did, what their hopes were, what their dreams were, or their fears for the future. Oh, my name is Jackie White. I'm the foreman of the yard. And you don't mess with Jackie on this quayside. I'm as hard as iron plate. We'll be tied you if you're late. When we have to push a boat out on the springtime. I remember maybe it was 1960, and I'm nine years old. We were all stood out there lining the streets with our little English flags, our British flags, the Union Jack. And then at the top of the hill, suddenly a big black Rolls Royce appears. And inside is the Queen Mother, and I start waving my little flag at her, and she somehow catches my eye. And she keeps looking, and she turns, and I wave my flag even more furiously. And I'm having this thing with the Queen Mother, I'm thinking, you know, and I feel that for the first time that I've actually been seen, I was infected with the idea that I didn't actually belong in this street. I didn't belong in this house. I certainly didn't want to end up in the shipyard. I thought that I was entitled to a bigger life, to live in a larger world than the one I'd been offered. I think that was another little twist than the engine of my, my ambition to escape. Just to cast the way an island lost that seal Another lonely day with no one here but me oh. More loneliness than any man could bear Rescue me before I fall into despair Sending out an SOS. Oh, yeah, troubles. Sending out an SOS. 